Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to fix this types of error. The entity type identity user login string requires a primary key to be defined. If you intended to use a keyless entity type call has no key in the own model creating. So just I am going to uh, do the same thing in the um, in the application DB context. So first of all create a own model creating by overriding the function and here we have some defined uh, model builder dot entity and entity is identity user login and in which you can pass the type of the string and provide has no key after providing that information you have also got a new problem that is user login uh, that is user login user role is also related uh, to that uh, so that problem will be resolved by using this but uh, new problem will comes because identity user login identity user role is the same thing you can see that the entity type user identity user role of the type string requires a primary key that is the new problem again you have to do some migration again but the same problem remain because it's not resolved so you can do uh, by using this builder dot entity just define the above and just again you have to do migration the same problem will occur but related to the role it's not a user login it's related to the user role you got it identity user login not identity user role of the type string so again just to define it uh, just copy there and uh, just paste in and you just change the identity user login instead of identity user login you have to use role and the type of the string has no key but uh, you know that identity user login identity user role have an key so if you are uh, updating that your problem that uh, you, you will got an error uh, related to your project because the primary key is required in the user login as well as user role so again we got another problem related to your user login user role and one more that is the last problem you come that is the token so here we have user login user role and the next one is the token so after that you will resolve your all problems related to has no key and uh, the entity type identity user token requires a primary key to be defined and you will intended to use a keyless entity type like that your problem will be resolved easily in ASP.NET Core Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and identity. Thank you guys for watching.